Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle on the steps map, and we've got Doomy Iron from Fiddy Clan. He's in the Kranwagen, which is the tier 10 Swedish heavy tank. And it's an encounter battle, so the cap is over the other side of the map, but um, tanks will spread and there'll be heavy tanks in this area or tank destroyers, so you wrap around and sort of take them out then you can come back to the base so we'll see how this goes all right now that bush in front is a pretty favorite area now he's been spotted there and there you go he's found a pattern m48 pattern puts two shots in three shots in and for some reason that pattern just stayed in one spot so I either thought that it was worth getting the spotting or not I'm not sure but I don't think that would have paid off for him Anyway, that's um, three shot to auto loading tank, of course. So he's just pulled back to reload. Now he's got his clip back again, puts in a blind shot to the base, and gets a kill on the uh, pattern. So he got spotted again, of course, but uh, now is that the one tank there, or was there another tank there? That's the question. There was a T28 prototype spotted earlier. See in the same position, that's the question. So yes, he's been spotted again, so there is something there. And gets a bit of attention from Marty, but now there's an AE phase one pushing in front who will probably help light up whatever's in that bush when he gets close enough. There you go, T28 prototype. So he's aiming at the side of the turret cheeks and gets the kill on his second shot, then goes into reload. So basically Apart from the 60 TP that was spotted there, they believe they've um, pushed back the enemy on this side. Dermy pops up to see what's around, so there's the 60 TP on just the top of its turret, not worth shooting at. And a Scorpion G just running away, snaps a shot there, but unfortunately it doesn't get there. So the aim time on the crane bag a little bit uh, low, but or slow I should say. but. Um, any case, oh now he's got the 60 TP, goes for a shot, no but realises he's behind rock so decides to reload and come across the field. Now he was lit there for a little while so Pershing has decided to try and have a shot at him and he spots the Hawk 12 which um, was lighting him up, probably keeping him auto lit so now he's going to punish him for being in existence. Puts one shot in on auto lock, second takes a hit from Marty and then snaps him again and kills him. So it goes into reload again, and you can see it's a pretty rapid reload. It only takes about uh, 18 seconds, I think, um, from memory, but he knows his timing and he's pushing in while he's reloading so that he can take shots at this 60 TP. Puts one shot in, second shot in, and third shot bounces so he pulls back straight away. Now 60 TP has got a very long reload so if you know he's just fired you've got a um, potential to yeah just clip him out while he's waiting and uh, the VZ55 takes him out while Jeremy's on reload. Now the enemy are capturing the base at the moment it's a minute 17 to go and this could take a little while but now he spotted that person that fired at him puts one shot in Second shot in, and again, this tank's not moving, now it could have been that he's tracked him, which it looks like he does actually, so no surprise he didn't get out of the way, he does take a hit. And then there's a Scorpion G clearly up on the uh, hill there, hasn't been spotted, <laughs> Hardy just misses. But uh, Demi decides, right, it's more important to go for cap, there's two people on cap, there's only a minute to go. And he's just c cutting in close here to the, um, to the ridge line just to make sure he's not able to be targeted by the scorpion. In fact the scorpion's been spotted up there, doesn't really have a shot on him so he just keeps pushing in. Now less than a minute to go on the cap timer and no one seems to be wanting to push in. They are being held up on the north side by a phase one. It's not clear who's on the base. Now 40 seconds down. There's a 1 2 1 B there, and <laughs> Doomy takes him out. So, five kills now to Doomy. He's got, he's got two shots in the locker, 
and he's deciding not to reload, it'll take him too long to reload, so he's going for the kill line, there's an STB1 that's on very small health, so he takes him out. That's six kills to Dermy, that's his top gun. And he puts his last shot into the Object 705, but that's basically reset the cap right back to zero, so... I wonder if that uh, 705 was not in the cap circle at the time. Anyway, Dermy moves in, in again, again while he's uh, on reload, but decides to go for the um, A phase one. One shot into there and put another shot into the Object 705. Phase one's been taken out, so this game's basically turning into whatever walkover. There are uh, too many tanks up for this to be a loss. But, uh, Dermy just tracking the 705 by ramming him to get a bit of assistant damage. And he's just able to reload and gets the kill just in time, so Seagull's that completely. Now, there's only three enemy vehicles left. So it's the Scorpion up on the hill, the Lynx is running around, and an Arty that just got vaporised. So Dermy charging in heavy tank style across the map. Yeah, Scorpion G is taken out of Pershing, so we know he's up there still. Uh, Scorpion Lynx runs away just before Dermy's reloaded. I don't think a snapshot there would have worked anyway, but... Um, Dermy then saying, OK, the Scorpion G is up there behind that rock, so he's not going to have a shot on him, but someone else does, so that's good. So there's only the um, Lynx to go. And where is he gone? So Dermy's just going to head over to the other side of the map. This game has really just collapse for the enemy. We've still got eight minutes to go in the timer, so um, this has turned out to be a very short game. Oh well, they have managed to get some kills, so that is good. Let's just speed up Zoomy to uh, Demi to get to where he needs to go. I've got a hopeful on cap who could cap it out if he needed to, but seriously, I don't think that links will last long. So, Demi just coming up to this spot just in case. It's a pretty remote area of the map. Does tend to be a favourite hiding place for Arty and similar sort of people. But uh, it doesn't appear to be here. And in fact, the E75 down the other end of the map takes out the links. So, that is the end of the game. Now, got some blind shots in there, so we'll have to go and look at the details to see exactly how much damage you did, but uh, Doomy clearly happy. So, a nice tanker mastery badge there for Doomy. He got the top gun, he had seven kills, uh, just missed out on a Radley Walters there if he'd managed to catch the Lynx, but that was pretty unlikely. And he got the high caliber award for doing the most damage, and with those blind shots, he actually got just under 6.4k of direct damage, and we can see 2.4k almost of uh, assisted damage, so that's with the tracking and related spotting. So that's uh, nearly uh, the 9.6, 9.7k of combined damage, which should definitely help his uh, quest for a mark of excellence. Anyway, Confederate reward as well for damaging tanks that then got killed by the enemy. Um, so all round good performance there. So in terms of experience against the team, 1327 base experience for a tier 10, that is pretty good. You would think uh, ace is around about 1000 to 1100, depending on the tank, of course. Um, and the next best tank there was the CS52, which we didn't see much of, but uh, I think it was on the other side of the map. And STB1, they did nearly 3K. The rest of them all did minor amounts of damage, but uh, that was mainly because Dumi was soaking it up and stealing it for himself. Um, on the enemy side, the STA-2 two, two, two and a half, the A phase 1, they faced uh, 2.9, so that was all good. Let's have a look at the 60 TPs, did 2k, so not too bad. But uh, overall, um, you know, just couldn't quite hold them off. In any case, um, what did it cost him in the end to operate? So he fired 26 shots, that's quite a lot, uh, particularly for a short battle that, such as it was. 24 connected, 19 of those penetrated. He was firing mostly his standard APCR ammunition, and not surprisingly he was top tier in a tier 8, tier 10 game. Uh, so he didn't end up spending a huge amount on ammunition. 
and uh, used standard consumables. So he ended up making a profit of 80k for a tier 10 tank. That is a pretty outstanding amount. Anyway, great game there, Doomy. Thanks for the content. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, then please consider doing so. We'll have more great content to follow, and thanks for watching.